Today we're working with Spell Time 4, Unit 6, page 26. Let's look at picture number 1. As you can see in picture number 1, there are three people. I think they're packing a picnic, because I think they're going to the beach. Now this is what we're going to do. I'm going to start to spell a word, and you'll see the word next to the picture as I spell it. Try to guess what the word is before I finish spelling it. OK? Look at picture number one. The first word is C R I C K E T B A T. Cricket bat. Did you get it? Let's try another one. The next word is. Well, let me help you. The next word has one, two, three, four, five, six letters. OK? The next word is B, A, S, K. Have you got it already? E, T. Basket. Basket. The next word is not quite so long. It only has five letters. But this time I'm going to spell it backwards to make it more difficult for you. The last letter is E. Then comes C. Then comes I. Then comes U. And the first letter is J. So you have Juice. Can you see? Mother has a bottle of juice in her hand, and there's another bottle of juice on the table. The fourth word has five letters in it. The middle letter is W. So it's blank, blank, W, blank, blank. Can you guess what the word is? The last letter is L, and the first letter is T. That's right, towel. T O W E L, towel. Let's try a word that's quite a bit longer. This word has one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight letters in it. I'll start the spell from the end and see how quickly you can get it. The last letter is R. The next to the last letter is E. The next letter is D. So we have blank, 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 D E R. Now, if I tell you the first letter is an S, you should be able to get it. Shoulder. S H O U L D E R. Shoulder. So, where do you think these people are going? Do you think they're going to school or do you think they're going to the beach? Where do you think? Let's look at the next picture and find out. Picture number two, they're on the beach. And picture number three, they're playing cricket. So now you know why the boy had a cricket bat in his hand. We'll do some more next time.